welcome to another video by Regal Eye Tech. Hey, if you like this, please click so for me. And if you haven't subscribed, can you? Please? And thanks. Hey, do remember to follow Regal Eye Tech on Instagram where you can see live videos and, and see random tech stuff. Greetings, welcome again to another video where we share some tech tips from the real world. In this video, we're going to talk about the Poly, aka Plantronics PLT, Microsoft Teams Edition headset, Bluetooth headset. All right, so um, what I want to talk about is a lot of users have a trouble reconnecting their headset to their already established Bluetooth connection to their device. So the laptop, when you pair this to your device for the first time, it's paired, married, using the Bluetooth. But let's say tomorrow comes or the next day or next week, and you find that simply by just turning on the headset and having Bluetooth on on your computer or cell phone is not automatically making the pair. So there's a typical Bluetooth trick you can use for this. It happens to work pretty good with this headset. I'm gonna demonstrate it for you. This, with this method, you don't need to go into settings and click connect on the, on the entry for the headset. Or you don't have to do any of that extra legwork to go reconnect the device because that can be time consuming when you're in a bind trying to get into a meeting or some other reason you need to jump on your headset really quickly. So let's check it out. So as you can see here, the headset is currently powered on because the green sticker is exposed. It's powered on. So now we're going to check the computer to see if it happens to be connected. So there it is. The Bluetooth happens to be on, however, it is not connected. Not connected, right? So if I go into the setting, you will notice that the device is still here. I have the option to connect. But again, we shouldn't have to do all this, right? So I'm going to exit out. Now I'm going to show you the trick. So this is what we do. We turn it turn the headset off and then go ahead and turn Bluetooth off right so now both are off and all you have to do is turn on your Bluetooth and then immediately turn this on you want to get them both on at the same time they'll try to make an initial pairing of each other or basically like when they first power on they're gonna to try to reach out to their significant other to see if they can make that initial connection. If it doesn't sense it, it tends to not make that connection automatically and you'll have to go in and manually do it. So here we go. We're gonna turn on Bluetooth first. One, two, three, on and immediately turn this on. There it is. You can you notice there right away that it's connected and it is ready for use. One other extra step you can do just to confirm this is ready for use before you start to open your applications that will use your headset. You can go down here on the, on the volume icon and select it by left clicking once. And there you'll see what headset options you have or what speaker options rather you have available. The speaker options here will be displayed and you can toggle between them all. This is a speaker that's connected to my docking station. This is the internal speakers of my device. And also the headset, right? So I'm on the headset and I'm gonna just simply turn the volume up and down here. So you can kind of see what you're supposed to hear is a ding every time you, let's see if I hear it. Yes, I hear it. I mean, tell me if you can hear it. Hopefully you can hear that, but 
by moving this and releasing it, you should be hearing a ding, ding, ding. Okay, and that's it. Your headset is ready to use. Yep, so thanks for watching. Feel free to shoot me a comment, any questions, any demonstrations you'd like to see done with the Bluetooth headset. A Microsoft Teams edition by Poly, aka Plantronics. Thank you. Do remember, tech family, subscribe and share. Hit like if you like. Comment for tips. We can co-enlighten each other.